Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Pastum. Pastum was a major ancient Greek city on the coast of the Tyrrhenian Sea in Magna Graecia. The ruins of Pastum are famous for their three ancient Greek temples in the Doric order, dating from about 600 to 450 BC, which are in a very good state of preservation. The city walls and amphitheater are largely intact, and the bottom of the walls of many other structures remain, as well as paved roads. The site is open to the public, and there is a modern national museum within it, which also contains the finds from the associated Greek site of Fos del Sele. Salinas wrote that it was established by Dorians. After its foundation by Greek colonists under the name of Poseidonia it was eventually conquered by the local Lucanians and later the Romans. The Lucanians renamed it to Pastos and the Romans gave the city its current name. As Pesto or Pastum, the town became a bishopric, but it was abandoned in the early Middle Ages, and left undisturbed and largely forgotten until the 18th century. Today the remains of the city are found in the modern Frejuan of Pastum, which is part of the Comune of Capaxio in the province of Salerno, Campania, Italy. The modern settlement, directly to the south of the archaeological site, is a popular seaside resort, with long sandy beaches. Much of the most celebrated features of the site today are the three large temples in the archaic version of the Greek Doric order, dating from about 550 to 450 BC. The two temples of Hera are right next to each other, while the Temple of Athena is on the other side of the town center. There were other temples, both Greek and Roman, which are far less well-preserved. Pastum is far from any sources of good marble. The three main temples had few stone reliefs, perhaps using painting instead. The large pieces of terracotta that have survived are in the museum. The whole ancient city of Pastum covers an area of approximately 120 hectares. Only the 25 hectares that contain the three main temples and the other main buildings have been excavated. The other 95 hectares remain on private land and have not been studied. The city is surrounded by defensive walls that still stand. The walls are approximately 4,750 meters long, 5 to 7 meters thick and 15 meters high. Positioned along the wall are 24 square and round towers. Although much stone has been stripped from the site, large numbers of buildings remain detectable by their footings or the lower parts of their walls, and the main roads remain paved. Numerous tombs have been excavated outside the walls. In the central part of the complex is the Roman Forum, thought to have been built on the site of the preceding Greek Agora. On the north side of the Forum is a small Roman temple, dated to 200 BC. This is of normal Roman pattern, although much smaller than later examples. Only the western half is visible. In 1930 AD, a road was built across the site, burying the eastern half. There is also a small circular council hall or assembly space, with seats in tiers. It was probably never roofed, but had a wall around it, perhaps with a small arcade round the inside. This ceased to have a role in Roman times and was filled over. The Haroon, close to the Forum and the Temple of Athena, probably celebrated the founder of the city, though constructed around a century after the death of this unnamed figure. It was a low tumulus with a walled rectangular enclosure faced with large stones around it. When it was excavated in 1954 a low stone chamber with a pitched roof was discovered at the center, half below the surrounding ground laval and half above. This contains several large, rare, and splendid bronze vessels, perhaps not locally made, and a large Athenian pottery black figure amphora of about 520 to 500 BC. The bronze vessels had traces of honey inside. Just south of the city walls, at a site still called Santa Venera, a series of small terracotta offertory molded statuettes of a standing nude woman wearing the polos headdress of Anatolian and Syrian goddesses, which were dated to the first half of the century BC, were found in the sanctuary. The figure is highly unusual in the western Mediterranean. The open-air Temenos was established at the start of Greek occupation, a temple on the site was not built until the early 5th century BC. A nude goddess is a figure alien to Greek culture before the famous Cydian Aphrodite by Praxiteles in the 4th century, iconographic analogies must be sought in Phoenician Astarte and the Cypriot Aphrodite. Inscriptions make clear that during Roman times, the cult was reserved to Venus. A few kilometers from Pastum there was a temple complex at the mouth of the Sele River dedicated to Hera. The temple is now all but destroyed, and little remains of several other buildings. About 70 of the 6th century BC archaic Metope relief panels on the temple and another building at the site were recovered, however. These fall into two groups, the earlier of which shows the story of the life of Heracles in 38 surviving reliefs, the later group, of about 510 BC, shows pairs of running women. The earlier cycle forms the centerpiece of the Pastum Museum, set in place around walls of the original height. The Pastum Archaeological Museum holds the largest collection, but there are many significant pieces that were removed from the site before modern controls, and they are in a number of collections around the world. 
The National Archaeological Museum of Spain in Madrid has especially rich holdings, with two important imperial Roman statues and many, very fine vases. In the case of painted pottery, a number of individual artists, especially from the 4th century BC, have been identified and given not names whose work has been found in tombs around the city and the region, and sometimes further afield.